Hello and welcome back to my channel Cab with Jordan. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be figuring out how you can actually measure the weight of your part and obviously you can choose between loads of different materials as you can see right here I've got loads right there and then you can immediately calculate just how much it's going to weigh. So let's just jump right in and I'm going to start by creating a very simple just 10 mil by 10 mil uh, cube. So very quickly I'll just create that cube and there's our cube. So, if we want to measure the weight of said cube, then we need to come to our model tree right here on the far left, and the name of the part, if you've saved it, then it'll be called whatever it's called, but right now it's just called part two for me. What you wanna do is right click this and come down to eye properties. This will open up this little window for you with lots of different tabs, with all sorts of details about the model. But the one that we're gonna be talking about in particular is this physical one at the end. So right now, if you see our mass, our area, our volume, everything is NA. And that is because we've currently got the generic material selected. And this is just the default material that is immediately applied to your part as soon as you start it. So if you want to measure how much it's going to weigh, what you need to do is assign a material. And you can do this by clicking on this drop down menu and then selecting what material it's going to be. Or alternatively, what you can do is come to your drop down menu at the top here and do the same thing. So I'm going to set it to mild, mild steel. And you can see that the appearance of it has actually changed as well. Now just because the actual material or the properties of this material are applied, it doesn't mean that we can't just immediately change this to something else. So you'll see the material is still mild steel, but I've applied a smooth red to it. Once again, if I open up my menu right here and come to physical, and then press update, you'll see that I now actually have some values in our boxes and you can see that the mass of this 10 millimeter or one centimeter cube is 0 0.008 kilograms or about eight grams, I believe I might have that wrong. So that is how you do it with a part. And while I have you here, actually, you can click on the clipboard right here. And what that does is it just creates a paste for you, which you can just immediately paste and it gives you a lot of information, more than I've ever needed. But yeah, everything's right there and you can just pick exactly what you want. So there you go, I just want that. So that's a very quick and easy way of just taking all of the data from here and just pasting it over. So that's the part. Let's say you wanted to do it with an assembly. So right here, this is a laser cut crossbow that I've been designing. It's made purely of laser cut parts and bolts and eventually springs as well. So it's a work in progress right now, but it works the same way. If you go to your eye properties and come to physical, you'll see that you have all of your data sets available for you. But something that you want to make sure that you do before you do that is make sure that all of the different parts have been assigned the correct material. Because as you can see, this has been given the generic material, but I've just changed the color of it so that I could differentiate between the different parts. So as you can see, the weight of it is actually extremely light. And that is because it's only calculating the weight of these bolts right now, because these bolts are from the content center. And when content center parts come in, they come in with materials already assigned to them upon placement. And this material is typically what the standard part, such as a bolt, would be made of. So you can see this bolt is mild steel. But I haven't done it to any of these other parts that I've made. The easiest way I find to assign all these parts is come to the very top part of your model tree. And then if you hold shift and come down to the very bottom part that you're looking to to assign the material to and just click that it will highlight everything in between so now I've got all that there I can come over to our drop down menu and I'll just make this out of mild steel and the reason you have to do it this way is because when you open up the eye properties menu in here you actually can't change the material you'll see that it's all blacked out but now now that I've applied mild steel to all of my different parts you can see that the mass has actually went up 0.1 kilograms which is uh, vastly heavier than it was before. Want to learn more in regards to Autodesk Inventor? Check out the course. My link is in the description. It is completely free right now until the 17th of August. So jump on that deal while it's still available. Thank you very much for watching.